Welcome back to my allotment. It is the sort of beginning of middle to June 2014 and just a quick plot update. Everything seems to be going okay. Uh, the sunflowers doing okay. I've planted some lupins in front of the wagon wheels. I think I'll keep them there for the time being. But look what someone's left there, how they've left their plot. If you don't want it, give it up. Let someone else have a crack at it because it is all the way down. And the two people either side are getting really fed up with it because that's just ridiculous to leave it like that. Anyway, back to my plot. <clears throat> I have some dwarf French beans in there, which five out of six I've taken. Good dwarf French beans. Don't know what happened to the sixth one, but there you go. Me Brussels sprouts are blooming. It's a beautiful sunny morning. The time is now quarter past eight. Been up here for an hour or so. Got some broccoli in there. Just keep them company. But Brussels sprouts are doing really well. And I'm finally tackling this heap. And I'm debating what to do with it. Whether to leave it open. Because I don't really want it to get in that mess again. Or make another raised bed. Decisions. Some nice soil there. So I don't really know. Panning around. The artichoke doing well. Trees are doing fantastically well. Planted some tomatoes. I've got some celery. Now, someone said from a shadow. Someone said to me that this celery is non-stringy. I love celery, but I just don't like the texture of it. So I'll give it a go and someone's winding me up. The butternut squash. It's doing okay. Coming on. And these two things, which are apparently dahlias, where on earth they come from, I do not know. But they've sprouted up, and we'll see what they do. The raspberries, doing really well. The black currant bush, I've got a courgette there. Red currant, and the raspberry bush is really picked up, really pleased with that. But raspberries doing okay. Flower bed over there with the roses look lovely. I've taken some things out and thinned them out and planted some more. I have some runner beans on the table. Artichoke's doing really well. Well, one is. One's sort of doing nothing. The herbs coming on. Planted some snapdragons in there. And blueberry bushes doing okay. Peas, still no go. They just really don't want to know. So, don't know what to do with them. There's a couple with pods on. But whether they produce or anything or not, I don't know. Runner beans. We've had loads of runner beans. And I generally eat them before I get home. So, my wife doesn't get too many. But, got to thin out the beetroot. Thinned out the carrots, so they're doing okay. But the garlic, it's got that turned yellow, musty colour, so garlic rust apparently. Apparently, it's pretty common. Got some, sowed some more radishes in there, planted some carrots in there. My wife's rose bush is doing really well. But I'll show you this. Look at the size of this onion. There you go, that'll give you. A rough idea of how big it is. I've got about four of them, about that size. There's one over there, there's one there, and there's one over there, and there's one there. Oh, there's a few, oh, blimey, there's a few more. So they're really doing well, but the red onions sort of died to death. Anyway, coming along, I'll say everything's sort of coming into bloom. Planting some more stuff, planting some carrots in here and the forest. 
I think I've planted them a little bit too close. I planted them at 12 inches. And I think someone said they should have been 18 inches. But, oh well, they'll find it out. Got some new lettuces in there come through. So, six of them. Well done. And here, the old poached eggs. Doing fantastically well. I'm going to say, me uh, sweet corn. Seem to be doing better at one end than they do the other. One sort of just flopped over. Might have trodden on it, knowing me. But pack chai in the greenhouse, thinning them out and getting a few off of them, but nothing major. Pulled some onions, planted some more pack chai. That's for the exorcist. Um, I must take tomorrow. The cucumbers. I've got little baby cucumbers on them. Wicked. Cool Rabby. Had some of them. Recommend it. It tastes lovely. I mean, tomato plants are doing really well. And I put them in pots like this. And the chilies. And I put them in pots like that. So I know where they are. So me being me. Don't stand back to look at something. And tread on them. So that's greenhouse one. Chilies. They're coming on. My might have potted them on a bit late where there was a bit manky in the little pots. Coming through, the leeks are doing really well. There's a cucumber there, which is, I don't know what um, model it is, but it's like a, a, a yellow tennis ball. That's that one. I think I mentioned it in the last uh, video. If I didn't, there you go, that's that one. So, must trim some of that so we'll have that tonight potatoes well hey brilliant what can i say there was some bags there but i've had them charlotte's washed them made a fantastic potato salad out of them and they are brilliant now i'm just getting ready to light a fire on the bins i have to move that one out of the way otherwise we don't want any uh mishaps but we're getting there, we're getting there. The heat coming out of these Daleks is horrendous. So I'll put some water, put about five gallons of water in each one. And well, it's steamed off, I don't know, someone's shouting in the background. I say I've had one of them, that was a Winston. I've got five massive potatoes. So do you can you use them as jacket potatoes or not? I've put some uh, main crop in them three bags and them two bags. They are Romeo. Uh, there you go. Let me pan back round. I'll say the second greenhouse. I'll say Golden Bell, uh, Red Cherry, Tomato. Uh, no, they're chilies. Uh, got some hot wax and some Apache chilies. Apparently it's supposed to be hot, so I, I do like my spice. Got me lettuces in there, gem lettuces in there. And uh, we've had a couple, but pretty much most of them flopped and really didn't do nothing. I got gherkin in here. The four plants in there. Didn't realise, didn't think that all four would germinate. So, what do I do with them? Do I just leave them, let them climb up, put sticks in for them? You know, please tell me. Help me out. Up here, parsnips, still nothing. Everything else has gone out. Uh, these are the beef steak tomatoes, which I've pegged back, because they were all leaning towards the sun. And... I have, oh blimey, I have a couple kicking off. There's a few, oh blimey, there's loads. Well, well, I think we'll be smarted out. Yeah, uh, up here, still got that asparagus. I'll put on some more peas. Just see, it, really see if it goes. Because we love peas, we love uh, sugar snap peas. So, gonna give it a, give it my best shot. That's all I can do. Everyone else seems to be fine with their peas, but me, I don't know. I don't know, I've done something wrong. But strawberries, we've had 
buckets of strawberries off of these if we can get to them before the pigeons. So take it, take this off, add a cover over them and just take it off and pick some and put it back. Your baby sweet corn doing fantastically well. Doing it really really well. The spring onions they're coming on and Got lupins in there, which is doing fantastic. And my wife's um, wild garden. That's wild. Me shallots are doing really well. I know I planted them too close, but they're fighting it out and they're all having it. So can't wait to have them. In the shed, got a bit of carpet now. I changed my shoes. I'm fed up with getting sawdust and bits of wood in my toes. And might, I should wear socks. I should always wear socks, but there you go. I don't. But yep, yeah, now that's the uh, shed. And now the new shed's here. And if you can remember, that was where the chicken run was. And going around, got another water butt which I fill off the other one with me timber but yeah now that's coming on that's all up and done just got to put the felt on the roof now because I say this is still but we got the chicken house here and it makes sense because it's easy maintainable from this side because straight up to it there's the uh, nesting box so if I can just highlight that there you go that's in and that looks so much better I've got all my junk in there at the moment but I might cut a window in there I'm not sure I have to see because it's really dark in there under that tree but there you go the birdie feed is still going birds are still coming feeding off of it that was put in there Monday, I think. So, yeah, they're really enjoying that. It's nice to sit in the shed and just sit there and watch them. I've given my old shed to the next door neighbour, so they might be able to build one shed out of the two knackered bits. But there you go, never mind. Come out. Oh, look, cool, that's really sunny. <coughs> so, yeah, that is the. June update from Jay and it is 20 no 32 degrees in the greenhouse already at this time so it's going to be another hot one it the highest it's gone up to is about 44 in there so I tend to leave the windows and doors open during the day and come up here in the evening and shut them so hopefully it doesn't scorch everything like I did before but, yeah, we're going to have plenty of onions, plenty of tomatoes, and see what else comes up. But I have to say, Cool Rabby, recommend it. It is delicious. So any ideas, please put them down at the bottom of this to help me out. Do I leave this as a sort of scrap heap, junk heap, or do I build another box similar to these ones? makes no difference to me I can build no problem at all but I've got to put I'm gonna put parsnips no not parsnips sorry swede in there Let's see how they go this is Jay signing off beginning of June with his monthly update thanks for watching Bye.